Today, we're gonna look at what it takes to brew in the Tea Bloom large glass teapot. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. This is the Brew Bro channel. I am Hurston and I am your guide as we explore how do we brew whatever we brew better. This channel talks about coffee, tea, and infusion beverages. And today we're actually talking about a method of brewing tea. Now, so far we've covered how to brew coffee in a multitude of ways. There should be a card popping up above my head here in a moment that'll allow you to go and take a look at other videos on the playlist just to see what we've already covered. But right now we're gonna talk about what it takes to brew tea. And this is kind of the beginning of that process. We do have one other device and potentially two to talk about when it comes to brewing tea. Um, this particular one, the Tea Bloom large glass teapot is very interesting because of its shape, of course, but also some of its features that we'll take a look at right now. So to start off with, we have the lid. Nothing too special to write home about there. I'll allow that to kind of focus so you can kind of see that. This particular device has a silicone, a silicone bottom for that particular lid, and that's for heat and all of the things that deal with, you know, protecting you from being burned by the steam, I would imagine. Um, but also keeping that heat trapped inside of the actual pitcher. Inside of this, you actually have a sleeve. So this particular cylinder is where you would house your tea as you are going through the steeping process. So I'll allow this to get up a little bit closer so you guys can kind of see. So this particular device, really elongated cylinder, um, has these perforations in it. So these little tiny holes. This is actually where you will put the tea that you're going to be brewing. Um, and we'll take a look at that during the brewing process. To keep that cylinder from, of course, falling down into the glass pitcher, there is a stainless steel ring with a kind of a silicone um, sealing component built into it. Um, again, it's more so, so we'll try to get focus on that. Let's see here. There you go. So you can see stainless steel at the top and then the silicone on the bottom. And then of course you have the actual glass pitcher. And again, this really is glass. So if you're planning on picking this up, you should see a link in the description below. If this particular model is the one that you're interested in. Um, but this uh, this pitcher is, is nice in that it actually has measurements on the side so you can determine how much of the beverage you're actually um, you know making. And, and then you also have a really unique shape so Tea Bloom is an interesting company that uh, not only sells pitchers, but also um, works specifically with blooming teas, which we'll take a look at. It's a really interesting uh, tea that actually comes in kind of like a, a, a little ball. And then as it brews, it actually blooms and kind of turns into a flower. So I actually have a couple of those. It's really cool to see the whole process play out. Um, and then the tea actually tastes really good from that as well. So we'll take a look at that a little bit down the road. And if you're interested in something like that, I would admonish you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like for me. Uh, that helps you know YouTube to deem whatever it is that I'm talking about uh, worth sharing. And then hit the notification bell so that you'll know when we actually talk about the blooming tea and that shouldn't be too long from now. So in the, the videos that come up where we're actually brewing teas, We'll talk about the blooming tea as well as other teas that we've uh, collected to brew with. And so that's pretty much it. This is a relatively simple device. You've got your, your actual glass teapot. Um, you've got your ring that actually holds your inner sleeve that actually allows you to do the infusion. You slide that down in the center and then you have your lid. So again, not overly complicated. It's a, it's a relatively easy device to use, um, put together, take apart, and ultimately clean. And so I like that it's all self-contained um, and we'll actually take a look at what it takes to brew with this teapot here in a moment. All right, so brewing with the Tea Bloom large glass teapot. 
So again, a relatively simple process. You'll wanna make sure that you bring your water to the appropriate temperature for whatever tea that you intend to brew. In this particular case, I'm going to be using a green tea, so I'm gonna keep my temperature relatively low so that I don't um, you know, oversteep the tea or cause the, the flavor profile to be altered in any way by the temperature of the water. When you're actually brewing teas, that's one of the things to keep in mind. It's temperature of water and time along with the amount that's actually going into the device that you're using, but mostly temperature and time to get the flavor profile just where you need it to be. So I've actually gone ahead and begin the process of heating up my water. Because this is a green tea, I'm keeping it between 170 and uh, 180 for my water temperature. I'm gonna shoot it right down the middle at 175. After my water has done heating, uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and load the green tea into the center cylinder, which is actually what allows you to steep inside of this particular teapot. I'm not gonna put a ton of green tea in there because I don't intend to drink a lot of tea today, uh, but I do, for demonstration purposes, want there to be an adequate amount so that you can see what it takes to actually brew the tea. So once the tea is in the middle of the cylinder, I'll shake it just a little bit just to make sure that um, it's a little flattened. Um, that just helps with making sure that all the leaves get involved in the steeping process. Now I'll take my gooseneck kettle, as I usually do, and begin to pour the water into the cylinder until I reach the desired amount. Uh, and I can determine what the amount is based off of the indicators on the side of the glass teapot. So now that I've got my water poured in there, the steeping process begins. For this particular tea, I'm looking up at about a two to three minute window. Um, I'm probably gonna shoot more along the lines of two minutes and 30 seconds to two minutes and 45 seconds because I want there to be just enough of that flavor profile actually infused into the water, but I don't wanna oversteep it because with green teas, in my experience, when you oversteep them, they tend to taste a little bit more bitter. And while I do like things a little bit stronger, I don't necessarily want it to be bitter. Okay, once the uh, allotted amount of time is up, I will actually take the cylinder out of the center. There's a nice little handle at the top of the cylinder that allows me to do that pretty effortlessly. And I will place the cylinder on the side on a little saucer that I have sitting there just to you know protect the table. I'll then replace the area that I took the cylinder out with the lid and then just pour my tea into my cup. All right, so that's it. It's a relatively simple process when it comes to tea. Again, you wanna look at not just the amount, but you wanna also look at temperature of the water and you wanna look at the amount of time that you're actually steeping the tea. That's how you can control the flavor profile and make sure that it tastes the way that you intend for it to, um, but also allows you to maximize whatever flavors are built into the tea itself. It's gonna be very important that you follow those particular rules if you wanna get the proper flavor profile or the taste out of the tea that not only you're expecting, but that the company that actually packaged the tea wanted to deliver. In this case, I am using a loose leaf tea. Uh, that allows me to have a little bit more control. And most of the teas that we'll talk about, um, at least at the beginning stages of this channel, will deal with loose leaf teas. Uh, but we'll also take a look at teas that are in sachets or the little packages that you would typically get out of the grocery store because we'll actually be comparing some of those teas off of the shelf as well to see can we get different flavor profiles out of them maybe if we take them out of the sachet and brew them versus doing it inside of the sachet and brewing it. So we're gonna test those things against each other to see if we get better uh, results uh, by actually taking them out of those uh, particular packing mechanisms and we'll see how it turns out. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at a device that allows you to steep the tea in its own separate kind of containing device. So the device itself allows you to steep within it. And then once it's done steeping or once it's finished, it's a lot at steeping time, you'll wanna take the device, put it on top of the glass and it actually drops the tea right into the glass for you, for you to consume. It's a very cool device. Reminds me much of the Clever Dripper, uh, the, the Clever Coffee Dripper that we've reviewed a couple videos before this one, I'll actually put a card up above me so you can go and click on that and just kind of see how that particular device worked. 
Um, but very similar to that in terms of the way it delivers the drink to the glass, uh, this particular device is, is very cool for that. And you'll get an opportunity to see it in action. Again, another method of brewing tea that you may not have considered before because you just may not have seen it. Um, again, as with everything that I'm using, most of it is under around a $50 to $40 price tag. So it's relatively affordable for what it is that you're actually going to be doing with it over time. You'll see the returns on that um, over and over again as you brew and drink more drinks with these particular brewing methods, saving yourself quite a bit of money down the road. So this is a very um, great bunch of devices that won't break the bank, but that allow you to save a little bit of money over time as you brew at home or at work, wherever you're wanting to brew your particular beverage. And I hope that in this particular video, you learned one more way to brew tea in this particular case that you may or may not have known about, that you find it interesting, that you feel empowered to go and pick this device up and use it at home, and that you also feel inclined to share this with someone else as we continue to build this community. Our entire goal, as it always has been since this channel has started, is to make sure that whatever we brew, we brew better. Until next time, peace.